Number 10 on September 5th against the Idaho Vandals, senior running back Tony Glenn took Jeff Fleming's handoff and spun his way into the end zone for the first score of the season. Number nine, late in the game against the Nevada Wolfpack on November 21st, junior receiver Marcus Allen hauled in two touchdown catches from Jeff Fleming late in the game. They were Allen's first two touchdowns as an Aggie. Our number eight play came against Louisiana Tech on October 17th. Devon House scooped up DJ Morrow's fumble and raced 38 yards for the touchdown. It was House's second touchdown of his career. Four weeks later, he would do it again. Our number seven play, House picks off Hawaii's Brian Moniz and returns at 58 yards for another score. This sneaky interception helped House earn first team all whack honors. Against Fresno State, Seth Smith started the game off on the right foot as he rumbled 70 yards up the sideline before being dragged down at the Fresno State Five. This play was a strong start to one of Seth Smith's five 100-yard games. Number five, senior Ross Connor took the field against UNM and came up with this interception against the Lobos. The Aggies would score a field goal on the ensuing drive to make it 3-0. Number four, against Prairie View A&M, Jeff Fleming scored twice in the first quarter. Jeff's two touchdowns helped the Aggies edge the Panthers 21-18 and earn the first win of the Coach Walker era. Play number three against Utah State on October 10th, tied 17-17. Cuts to the outside, to the 30, the 40, he's got two men to beat, breaks one, cuts back at the 45, Anderson still on his feet, looking for blockers, cuts it back to the left, 30, down to the 29. This big return helped set up our number two play. After a few Seth Smith runs to milk the clock, Kyle Hughes hit a 28-yard field goal as time expired to cap the win for New Mexico State 20-17. And our number one play of the 2009 season. In Albuquerque against the Lobos, down 17-14, the Aggies drove 17 plays to the New Mexico four. Jeff Fleming hit Marcus Anderson in the end zone for the go-ahead touchdown with just 39 seconds left on the clock. The score gave the Aggies a 20-17 win over their I-25 rival.